Hi guys and welcome back to Lilac Stables and today I'm going to be unboxing a few new horses for you guys. So first up here we have Simba Dupont de Tournay and I have been wanting this dude ever since I started collecting and I finally had the opportunity to buy him and he is so cute in this French packaging. I love it so much in the back there you can see his name and on the bottom you can see that it says 2015 Briarfest Celebration Horse. And I really love in his packaging that on the left we have the blue and the right we have the red that does form the French flag. And if we look on the sides of his box, we can see on the red side we have the really nice Eiffel Tower and some Fleur de Lis. And on the other side we have the blue with the Eiffel Tower and some Fleur de Lis as well. And when we turn Simba's box around, we can see in the back that it does talk about Briarfest. It also gives some information about Simba himself. And there's a really, really cute picture of the real Simba too. He's so, so cute. But let me stop talking and let's get to unboxing this boy. And here is Simba almost out of his box. And I'm really, really loving the background of his packaging. I love how it is the scene with the Eiffel Tower. And he just looks so, so cute in it. And here we have Simba fully out of his box. And this guy is so, so lovely. I've said this many times before on this channel that I am not a vintage mold collector. But this guy is super, super nice. I really love his coat pattern. I really love that bay roan that he has going on. I love that the roan looks kind of purple if you look at it. But it's super, super cool. And this guy is so, so nice. I really like that. And if we look at like some of his joints you can see that they're kind of white it's super interesting i thought that was really interesting that instead of black they're kind of white so i thought that was really cool and if we turn him on the other side we see that he doesn't have his mane but we can still see his really nice roan color and i love his little tail his little braided tail is so cute in the back and now we can take an even closer look at his coat color so he has this really really nice roaning going on and i really love how this guy has this really big chunky butt <laughs> and i just really really love his coat color i really love the bay roaning that's going on and it just looks super super cute i love all the speckling around him and it looks super super cool and i love how on this side we can see his really really thick dark mane and it just looks so so nice and if we look at his face simba has such a sweet sweet face and i love how they gave him the tricolored eyes with the black the brown and the white look how cute he looks he looks so so sweet and I love how he has a star on his forehead as well. He's super, super cute. I love the dark muzzle he has as well. And we can also see his other side of his face looks super, super adorable as well. And of course, stamped on his belly, it does say Briar Barfest 2015. And next up here, we have Delilah from the Saddle Club. So this girl is so, so gorgeous. This is another model that I have been wanting for a while. I do really like the Marabella mold, and I really, really love Palominos. So this girl is so, so perfect. I mean, look at all those dapples across her body. She is so, so gorgeous. And if we see, she has two little kind of cornet socks in the front, and she has no leg markings in the back. But she is just so, so 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 beautiful and lovely and i'm so so happy that i found her for a really really cheap price as well she is so pretty and if we took a closer look at her face she has this really really adorable stripe going all across her face and we notice that she does have the cutest little pink muzzle where she has her face marking and she's just so so cute i love how she also has a dark muzzle as well and i really really like how her eyes are looking in the back like she kind of has a sassy face and it's super super cute just look at her she is so 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 gorgeous and i love that the marabella mold has this braid molded onto her tail as well she is so so cute and here we have delilah on her other side and we can see all her really nice dapples and she does look so so beautiful i'm so happy i was able to get this girl and last but not least, here we have Manka Kapak. So as you all know, I do have a Kanka on the Peruvian Pass mold. And this is one of the guys that I really, really wanted to have. And this guy is so, so gorgeous. I'm so happy I was able to get him. And I just love his coloring so, so much. I love how he has this really, really dark, dark face. And I really love how he has a blaze going down his face as well. And I'm really, really loving this roaning all over his body. And if we take a look at his legs, he does have 
three leg markings that are stockings and that one leg in the front does not have a leg marking and i really really love this guy's tail so much it's kind of like sunburnt and it's so so gorgeous i mean look at this guy he's so so nice and he is just so so pretty and what i really love about this Peruvian Passa Mold is his mane. His mane is so, so gorgeous. And I'm so happy to add this guy to my collection as well to have a number of five Peruvian Passas now. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and sticking around to the end. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below. Comment down below. Do you have any of these models in your collection? Which models would you like me to unbox on this channel? Don't forget to share this video with your other horse loving friends, but most important of all, do not forget to subscribe to Lilac Stables for more videos. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!